hey good day guys welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer all right and i'm here to show you in a simple tutorial how to have and add additional loads to your members and particularly in this video i'll be showing you how to add additional loads to your beam members all right as you can see on my screen right now this is um a platform a platform rather for a boiler room this you can see right now is a reinforced concrete platform and um, along the beams we we'll find the legs of a particular machine a four-legged machine a four-legged machine um, standing right on the beam so we know that that is going to constitute um, a kind of point load a point load on those beams at that particular um, point on the span of the beams all right so if you are working with product structure and you want to model this platform and to have the beams of course the load from the machine transmitted through the legs sitting on the spans of this beam as you can see this is what i mean by the legs of the machine these we have these also we have these also then we have this all right so this is a four-legged machine sitting right on the beam span so if we are going to have this load being transmitted to this span of this beam then um, there's a way we are going to approach it on product structure okay okay because when you have this on product structure you only see the model this way all right and you might not have the advantage of um, transmitting directly the point load as you have on that previous drawing that i've shown but there is a way we add the additional dead load on or additional point load rather or additional uniformly displayed load whatever load it is how we add to our beam members all right so we look at this beam on grid line b and the beam on grid line c which are the same set of beams um we are seeing here this beam on this grid and the other beam on this grid so we want to find a way to insert the value or the load of this um, machine legs being transmitted to the beam span and also these ones all right um in the specifications of these drawings the designer the designer of all these machines already sent to you the loads that being transmitted through each legs of the machine all right so for this case we have um some about 30 tons 30 tons being transmitted we have um, 32 tons transmitted we have about five tons transmitted well this 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 information might not be unique to your own project now so whatever it is that is unique to your project you might be working with um, for example 200 kilonewton point load at some points on your beam span or uh, whatever load it is or some may be working with 20 kilonewton per meter and all of that so um how do you now go about that so when i have this i have this beam on grid line b and somewhere on this point i have a point load somewhere on this point so what i am to do is to look through my um, drawing and see where exactly is the point load um, taking influence so that we can rightly position if we find a way around that so i'll go back to check where exactly is my point load acting so away from this grid line here i have um, that's 2.4 meters away from that grid line there all right and this also from this midpoint i have um, 2.76 away from that so let's see how we can fix that in simple steps all right so having completed your model now let me show you the 3d of this model and see what the platform really looks like So on this platform we are going to have machines all right set up on this platform all right so the point that we are speaking about is right somewhere right on this pan and on this pan the same on this pan and on this pan all right so we want to see how we're going to put that in simple steps 
all right having identified the beam that we want to work on you just have to click on whatever beam span it is you want to add to the loads then looking through your tab here you find an edit member loads but in case you are not able to find that depending on what version of product structure you're using just right click and um, on the on this tab also you find edit member loads so clicking edit member loads you find different kind of load different load types you find there all right so if you want to customize yours i've added that kind of load already and that's why you can see the point load acting on at 2.4 meters exactly so i want to show you how i did this all right i showed you what distance it is taking influence on my beam span in the previous drawing on autocad and it's exactly 2.4 and i've converted the load to kilonewton and that's what i have here all right so i want to show you how you are going to do yours you can come to edit or new load new load rather clicking on new load you have your beam span the span that you have selected to edit the member load and right now we're working with if you are working with udl you select the first icon here which represents the udl all right so then you can you can give it a name probably for additional wall or whatever it is if it's a dead load of course it represents a dead load you can put whatever value you want to put as unique to your situation so just calculate what additional load you have then fix it if you have the dead life load also you can you can put that so you see that so this is an additional load on our beam which prayer structure would not identify because it's not part of the things that you have the advantage of putting directly so these are the extra load that you have rightfully observed in your drawing that you want to import while you are doing your modeling and analysis all right so these are you input your udl then you press ok so having done that your udl automatically comes in all right your udl automatically comes in as an additional additional load all right so if you want to add a point load how do you do it go back to new load the third icon here it represents the point load the reference x means how much distance from the origin from the zero point all right and from our measurement the last time we had 2.4 all right and um, the value of our load if it's 100 kN, just fix it 100 kN. then okay you see that now so that's how it works for additional loadings on your beam you may have your additional udl you may have your additional point load additional loads whatever it is just come through this means and insert appropriately all right if you have further questions on this video i'll be writing in your comment section do well to send in a message all right till we meet in the next video i'm joshua the designer bye